ScanStat comes ready to use pretty much immediately following its installation, but some operators may need to make some custom changes in order to personalize their experience and how they prefer to scan. So although ScanSnap iX1500 comes with ScanSnap Home software that, among other things, serves as a single application to organize and access all the paperwork scanned with ScanSnap, some operators may actually prefer to scan directly into a folder system they already have set up on their computer. This video will demonstrate how to create a new profile to quickly scan to a folder rather than into ScanSnap Home, edit that file name, and then choose its folder before saving it. So to set this up, it starts by launching ScanSnap Home, selecting the Scan button in the upper left corner, and then selecting the Add Profiles button from the Scan window. This will open the Add New Profile window for ScanSnap. And off to the left-hand side, you'll see a list of profile templates that span a variety of scanning intentions. I'm going to pick the Verify and Save template because that's the one that is already mostly configured to scan to a folder with an opportunity to verify how and where it will be saved each time. Once selected, now I can make some minor customizations. In order to keep things simple, I'm just going to name my new profile folder. And then I'm going to add a brief description here to remind me later really what it does. Next, and this is important, when I scan a batch, which is just a fancy way to say a stack of papers, I usually want all the pages, like a four-page utility bill, to be saved all together as a single multi-page PDF file. Now you may choose differently, but this is how I like to organize my files. So I'm going to select all sheets will be scanned as documents. Now I might want to make some other changes in how ScanStamp scans these documents, and I do that by selecting detailed settings. And from here, I can change really a bunch of settings across all these different categories. But everything is already pretty much set up as I like it, so I'm going to keep things as it is and just click OK. Now I'm pretty much done, and you can see that my new profile is looking good because Verify and Save is still shown here as the Send To destination. So I'll just click Add to save my settings, and in a moment, the new profile will appear on the scan window. And if you look at the touch panel on the iX1500, you should see it there as well. And notice that when I either click twice on the profile from the computer or I touch twice from the touch panel, that description I entered before will appear on the scan button to serve as a reminder. You know, that can be helpful when you have a lot of profiles to choose from or you're sharing a profile with others that may not be familiar with it. Now at this point, I'm pretty much done, so let's try it out. So after I place my paper into the automatic document feeder, I'll select my new profile name folder and then tap scan. After all the pages have passed through the feeder, the verify and save dialog window appears on my computer. And it's from here that I can briefly see what was scanned and I can then change its file name directly from this field. I'll keep the name already created. From this field below, I can see where it's already selected to save but I can click Browse to select a different location to save my scan. In this case, I've already created folders for really all my scans, so I'm going to browse through and select my warranty folder and then click Select Folder. Now that the folder is shown as the destination, I click Save to save the file to that folder. And I'm all pretty much done. Now, notice that the file does not appear in the ScanSnap Home software. Well, that's because I chose to scan it to a different place, and if I want to access it later, I'll just go to that folder that I saved it to and open it up into whatever native PDF viewer I have available on my computer. And that's it. So for more videos on how to be productive with ScanSnap iX1500, come visit us at ScanSnap Community.